Hello everybody, this is Cameron from The Bold Trades. Hope everybody's having a fabulous Sunday today. It is June 6th and we're going to talk about Joby Aviation, ticker symbol RTP. Reinvent Technology Partners is a SPAC which is due to merge pretty soon. So let's get into uh, this video first of all so you can see what Joby Aviation is all about. Enjoy. <laughs> And that looks so beautiful, amazing, an EVTOL aircraft. I want to preface this video by saying I am not a financial advisor, nor is this financial advice. And this is not a recommendation to buy or sell anything, just done for entertainment purposes only. Now let's get into the meat and potatoes. On June the 3rd, 2021, Joby Aviation had an analyst day. So let's go ahead and go through this together. So what is Joby Aviation? Joby Aviation is a aerial ride sharing company. Our cities are getting bigger and more congested. Urbanization, underfunded infrastructure remains at powerful trends. Sustainable mobility is more critical than ever. Aerial ride sharing unlocks the third dimension of urban transportation. Sustainable, all electric aircraft, zero operating emissions, so very clean, fast, five times faster than driving in major metros, and highly scalable, exponential scaling of routes at a fraction of the infrastructure cost. Now, safety. Safety is always the number one priority in aviation, and electric motors in general are very, very highly reliable, very, very safe and definitely last a lot longer than a normal combustion engine. So let's have a look at the trends in safety and affordability. As you can see from this graph, as departures have increased, our safety record has also been greatly increased, meaning that we are a lot safer now than we have ever been in the history. There is a massive untapped market opportunity, 300 plus aircraft market opportunity of $500 million dollars per year alone, just in LA. Joe Ben Bevere is the founder and chief executive officer. So let's have a look at the aircraft itself. And that is a beautiful looking aircraft. Now we will have one pilot on each aircraft and the capability to carry four passengers. Vertical takeoff and landing, four passengers for optimal economics, piloted to facilitate certification and public acceptance, 150 plus mile maximum range, with a 200 mile per hour top speed and zero operating emissions. So we're talking clean, clean, clean energy here. Distributed electric propulsion, this is important. Distribution, multiple, smaller, simpler electric motors across the aircraft enables safety. No single point of failure across aircraft systems. Acoustics, electric motors enable a reduced sound profile. Economics, reduced maintenance downtime savings on fuel costs. Designed for safety with high levels of redundancy, six propellers can fly safely with the loss of any one propeller. Each motor is redundant and powered by two separate inverters. Each inverter is wired to a separate battery pack, four isolated and redundancy battery packs on board. Motor continues to function if an inverter or pack fails. So as you can see, built with safety in mind, that is the key. Now also very quiet. Now, if anybody knows about electric motors, they are quiet, quiet, quiet. As far as noise is a concern with uh, helicopters and planes flying around, electric aviation vehicles do not produce much noise at all. In fact, at altitude, they're pretty much quiet. You don't really hear them. 
engineered for redundancy and safety, long range battery pack, more emergency options, able to fast charge, longer operating lifetime, mission flexibility, built for safety, batteries in wing away from passengers for fully redundant packs, mitigation for all failures. So very safe indeed. Paving the certification path took over a decade of hard work. As you can see from the timeline here, currently formal FAA certification in 2020. We have consciously designed our aircraft to fit into a modernized rule set. So currently operating on the FAA part 23, which gives flexibility and certainty. Pilots are widely available. Use of existing aviation infrastructure is available to them and clear certification pathways. We are progressing steadily through the rigorous FAA process. Certification basis is finished. Means of compliance is in progress and demonstration of compliance is in progress and verification of compliance starting in 2023. Now, one of the most exciting things about Joby Aviation is the early revenue opportunities with the Department of Defense, reduced technology and operational risk. Although Joby Aviation is going to be primarily and heavily involved in the air taxi service, one of the greatest and most interesting aspects that a lot of people don't realize is their military and government applications. A contract through the Air Force's Agility Prime program has received military airworthiness approval in 2020. $40 million in contracts have already been secured from the DOD. Over $100 million of contracts in discussion and additional opportunities to provide on base logistics in the future. So this is a very exciting opportunity, apart from just normal flying operations day-to-day uh, -to -day as an air taxi service company. Manufacturing, Matt Field, Chief Financial Officer. Extensive um, service Matt Field was with uh, Ford. Phase two production, thousands of aircraft per year. Phase one production, two to 400 aircraft per year. Pilot production, 30 aircraft per year. Now they have many wonderful partnerships. Toyota is actually a partner helps de-risk and accelerate their manufacturing capabilities. And we'll take a look at that in more uh, detail in just a moment. Go to market, Eric Allison, head of product. Right aircraft for the right market, press a button and get a flight. And here are the steps that uh, normally would go into that. Step one, select your destination through the Joby app or a partner app like Uber. The Joby service will synthesize a trip for you starting with a rideshare pickup to the nearest Skyport. Step three, at the Origin Skyport, board a shared Joby aircraft and fly to the destination Skyport at up to 200 miles per hour. And step four, the destination Skyport, another rideshare car will be sequenced to meet you just as you arrive. So very simple, very seamless. So an initial five Skyport network that can serve 3,400 trips per day. Absolutely amazing. Routes designed to respect airspace constraints. Large 12 node network that can serve 12,500 trips per day. Adding in longer distance routes can unlock latent demand. Extending and filling in the network allows deep market penetration at over 42,000 trips per day. Expanding our strategic partnerships. As you can see, Joby has a lot of strategic partnerships already in place. Signature Aviation, Related, Macquarie. Candidate Skyport sides based on analysis demand. Now with their partnership through Uber, they will be seamlessly integrated into their app. And we'll go into uh, that more later. Some of the Joby Asian investment highlights are one a world-class team with world-class partners team of 800 plus with deep aerospace software and electrical engineering experience a thousand plus combined years of certification experience world-class partners supporting every step of the journey two the best aircraft for the market zero operating emissions five seats 150 miles 65 decibels designed to be certified operated under existing regulations first mover advantage 1,000 plus test flights completed, first and only eVTOL to sign a G1 with the FAA, first to achieve U.S. Air Force airworthiness, being early drives strong network and scales effect. Four, vertically integrated approach. Key parts designed and produced in-house, production scale and supported by Toyota, recurring revenue from operating aircraft delivers compelling economics compounded by scale. Five, pragmatic approach to commercialization. Uber integration and Elevate acquisition deliver deep customer insight and day one demand. Best in class infrastructure partners provide access to prime locations in key markets. Six, strong financial foundation. Cash to support business through commercialization, staged investment approach provides flexibility. So we have Toyota, Uber demand, the US Air Force's pre-certificate operations, 
uh, NASA testing and uh, partners with uh, many different other companies too. Our mission is to save a billion people an hour every day. Wow. And finally, let's have a look at the uh, final piece of the puzzle here. Faster speeds unlock higher gross bookings. 20 mile trip at 30 miles per hour on average, charged at 175 per passenger mile. And then 20 mile trip at 140 miles per hour, charged at $3 per passenger mile. Charging on a per seat basis rather than a per trip basis increases upside even further. If you look at a ride sharing auto, that equates to $229,950. If you look at Joby Aviation, additional revenue at 2.3 low factor, we're looking at $2.468 million. That is absolutely amazing. So let's finally uh, look at the, some of the partnerships and then we'll uh, finish off with the stock price. So one of the news articles that first hit about Joby Aviation was their $75 million investment from Uber as it acquires Uber Elevate and expands partnerships. Back December 8th of 2020, Joby Aviation, a transportation company developing an all electrical vertical takeoff and landing passenger aircraft, which intends to operate as early as 2023, today announced that Uber has agreed to invest $75 million in Joby as part of a broader transaction involving the acquisition of Uber Elevate to Joby and an expanded partnership between the two parent companies. This investment comes in addition to a previous undisclosed $50 million investment made as part of Joby's Series C financing. So they definitely have a wonderful partnership and they're going to be integrated with a uh, with Uber. So that is something very exciting. Now, also the investment from Toyota. Joby Aviation also raised $590 million led by Toyota to launch an electric air taxi service. So these are just some of the details of that deal, which is absolutely amazing that we have Toyota as well on board. So currently, Joby Aviation is a SPAC under ticker symbol RTP. And, uh, when is the question is, uh, when is that merger is going to take place? So the news broke in February, but an official listing date for the combined company hasn't been publicized. Joby's press release about the merger state that should be completed by the end of the second quarter of 2021. So sometime towards the uh, end of June or sometime in June. So let's take a look at the stock. So if we look at the performance of the stock over the past six months, we hit a high of around $17 was the all time high. And since then, we've just been trending down. Now, we haven't had any news, and I believe that this is going to be very news driven. So right now, it's just been holding steady between the, around $10 a share. So what I believe is going to happen is once the merger has been fully finalized, we get confirmation that and the ticker change, then uh, we should see a good little bit of a trade up in the stock on that announcement. Plus, as we complete all the milestones with the FAA, FAA and any other further milestones with any other companies and we get closer to production, I believe that uh, the stock will definitely uh, definitely take off. But uh, I think it right now it's, a, it's an undervalued uh, sleeper stock. I'm definitely buying more myself, that's for sure, because I believe that uh, once this merger has been completed and it's announced and it's done and dusted, I believe that reInvent Technology part Partners, uh, which will be now Joby Aviation, will be a very good long-term investment. If they pull it off, they'll definitely do very, very well. And even if they uh, have a little bit of hiccups on the road, I believe that their partnership with the government, the Air Force, etc., that is a very strong revenue stream for them in the future. I think we should definitely look out for that to happen. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please like and subscribe to this channel and I'll be uh, doing other great videos uh, pretty soon. So hope you have a great weekend. Take care and bye for now.